loved the little flick off the hip from uh, Sohil after. Karachi winning the toss and uh, deciding to bowl first here in this great clash, the rivalry between the two cities, between the two teams. Really excited about this guy, Umar Asif that is, in terms of his action. I stood next to him, looked at him, had a little smile and said hello, giving him a wink and said, impressed with uh, his technique. He's a lot taller than you think, he's about 6'4", 6'5". There's a lot of him. It's a nice, simple action. Oh, dear. Well, he's lost his uh, bearings there just a bit, hasn't he? I think what it was, it was Fakir Zaman who made an early move to go leg side. And uh, Umed Asif went to follow him here. Watch. You can just see, look at that. Look how far outside leg slump Fakir Zaman is standing. Another great thing you may have picked up there very quickly is that he has a very big split finger in terms of bowling that slower ball that floats out. Hence the loss of the radar with that one. Nicely played, the third man is up inside the circle. That's flown past him for four. The danger here is that when you do bowl a wide, so often in the game of white ball cricket it disappears the next one. You just overcompensate a fraction. That's what happened here with Umar. Can't bowl that length with this field. Does play with angles, Fakir Zaman. And he's come off a score in the last match. He's getting his bearings. He's uh, fine-tuning his game. So. 12 from this over from Umed Asif. Shaw chops it on. He looks to the heavens. They're not going to help him. Umed Asif strikes. It's an inside edge, and Fakir Zaman's got to walk back. Check out the roar from the Kings fans here at the Karachi National because. This happens too often. A lot of Pakistan fans know that he gets out so often in this vein. Big bottom edge, gone for... Any day, any night. Oh, I like the way he plays this. That is absolutely raced down there backwards square. Do you remember Gordon Greenwich from a few years ago? He liked your bowling, didn't he? He certainly <laughs> did, and he played this a lot. <laughs> when I look at the boundary too, I'm looking out from our privileged position, and it looks appreciably bigger. I'm just wondering, they made it slightly bigger here, Karachi National, to go a bit wider in the square pockets, because that's a good size hit there if you're going to get it over the fence and some. Down the pitch. Goes Chris Lane, and what a catch! What a brilliant catch! If the car looks like the man who's taken it, that ball was going at some pace. Yeah, it was going enough, wasn't it? He didn't quite get all of it, Chris Lane, and it's uh, cost him dearly. He's on the charge. Yeah, he's got it quite low down on the blade but takes some getting. Jubilee safe hands or what? Oh, that is a goodie. Yeah, celebrate all you like because it's a big, big moment. It's a key wicket. It's the end of Chris Lynn for just a bunch. And it's 72 for two. Across the globe. Australia, Canada, Caribbean, India. The Middle East, New Zealand, Sky Sports course in the UK as well. Fantastic at the top of the order, timed the ball really well and whenever he's got the boundary he's not trying to hit it too hard. The wrist work and just being able to use the pace on offer.
possibly one or two, but you expect that. But mostly, it was pure timing, like that one, down the ground. Captain leading from the front. There's a maid. It's third over. Beautifully bowled. Beautifully bowled. A coat of paint. Pace off the ball from a bad offset, and I don't think that this bounced too much. Rolling a cutter and all. Oh. Dunk was through the shot and more. He's hit the full shot half an hour before the balls arrived. Chance! Big chance! That'll celebrate this one! Because it's dunk! It's a short ball again, this time the bouncer, he got it high enough. They've been working on this at Karachi Kings and Oved Asif reaps the reward. Went really short, the bouncer, quick bouncer, outside off stuff, no control from Dunk. And not today for Ben Dunk, gone for nine. The whole now 90 for three. big overs but they need a few more there's just six overs remaining here 108 for three there's a shot there's a shot yes there is your answer Ashraf Iqbal what a night he's having taken but I think it is very straight nice. keep rolling keep rolling yeah it's a fair delivery move on to front on please trouble keep trouble, rolling trouble trouble, going back, trouble. Going back. maybe need to, height need to confirm move on to ultra edge please I'm looking for keep all rolling, sorts keep of rolling. things. Keep rolling. Okay. I can see the gap between bat and ball. So no bat and wall. No bat and wall. You can move on ball tracking when it's ready. Original decision is out. Pitching outside off. Impact and line. Wicket hittings. Asan, you can stay with your original decision. Let's you know when you're screen. You are screen now. What a good decision. Hitting the top of the stumps. But it's been a real fine innings from the captain. Akhtar goes for 68. It's 108 for four. There's Sami Patel looking to work this leg side. Babar Azam's got a good pair of hands. And the important thing is he made ground quickly to get under the ball. Samit Patel's gone back in his crease, he's hit it high up on the bat. And there you see how nicely he just steadied himself and got two big hands around the ball. Samit Patel, five, it's 133 for five. 